Ricky's dictionary defines hanger as an agitated state of desperate famishment or acting like a damn psycho because you forgot to eat. My ride share driver won't stop and get me Chinese food. You know what? I forgot to eat. What the hell is keto? Now, now I'm, I'm angry. angry. This is Hanger Management with Ricky T. Hello, you guys. My name is Ricky Thompson, and what is good to eat? So one time when I was 21, I decided to buy my very first legal bottle of alcohol. And let me tell you, that night was crazy. I was doing shots all night, but the morning after was god awful. I woke up sweating. I woke up throwing up. And let me tell you something, a hanger over is the worst feeling you can ever have. So you know what? I'm really trying to find some food that is sweet, something that is bready, something that can really soak up all those alcoholic toxins. So the only way we're gonna solve this hanger it's just by stumbling on to the kitchen. Today we're gonna be making some blueberry waffles and a nice, delicious Bloody Mary. But let's get on down with making this waffle. So in the big bowl right here, we have our flour, and then I'm gonna just add some of these dry ingredients. So we're gonna take a pinch of salt, then we're just gonna dump all this sugar in there because you know, we love a little bit of sweetness. Some cinnamon, bam, then some baking soda, and lastly, some baking powder. We are going to add our liquid ingredients. So we have some vegetable oil, just like that. Some orange juice, mmm, great for the morning. And lastly, some soy milk. Ah. We're gonna take our whisk and mix them all up. This honestly is the worst. I'm over here, my head is throbbing, but I'm hangry, so I gotta do this. Ooh. We're gonna add some delicious blueberries. We're just gonna throw them right on in. Lovely. Now we're gonna get back to whisking. I think the batter is done. Now we're gonna start making our waffles. We are going to take a half cup Pour it right onto the waffle frying pan. Oh, wow. I can smell the cinnamon in the waffles right now, and it's really bringing me back to when I decided to drink that whole handle of cinnamon whiskey. But you know what? Eating these waffles, it won't make you sick. So those waffles should be done in about five minutes. So while we wait, we're gonna make a nice drink. It's time to make a delicious, Bloody Mary. I am so excited about this. I love vodka. So, you know, we're just gonna add some vodka up in here. Just like this. One shot. Beautiful. We are going to add some oyster sugar. You know what, I'm hungover. I'm not even gonna say this word. So, you know, we're just gonna add this sauce up in here. Lovely. Some tomato juice to really make me feel a whole lot better than what I'm feeling right now. We're gonna add some horseradish. Ooh, it woke me up already. Some celery salt. Just like a pinch, a little bit. We're gonna add some hot sauce to really give it a kick. I'm gonna do like three, a little bit. No, a little bit more to make it real spicy. We're gonna just mix it on up. We're gonna add our garnishes. So I'm gonna get an olive a hot dog, and a pickle. Just gonna plop that on in there. Then lastly, I'm gonna add some lime to this. Mmm. That is our Bloody Mary. All right, let's see how these look. They smell delicious too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to get into these waffles. All right, let's see if we can get these. Look at that waffle. Oh, see these blueberries. we're gonna add some butter and some syrup to our waffle. Smear it on, beautiful. I love syrup, oh yes. Okay you guys, I'm hangry over, I'm not feeling my best, you know what time it is? It's time for me to cure that hanger. Okay, here we go. Wow. 
Wow. That is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. Now we gotta rinse this waffle on down with this Bloody Mary. Ooh. Uh. Ooh, that woke me up. Wow. Whoa. Oh my goodness, if I can run a marathon. Wow. Well, you guys, my hanger over is now cured, and that's it for me. Remember, peace, love, and here's what's good to eat.